Aaron Shaka are joined by Eddie Bravo and Patel Patriot to discuss devolution. Is Joe Biden just a literal vehicle for an extraterrestrial? And New York City puts out a PSA on surviving a nuclear attack. Prepare your bug out bag and plan your meeting place. We're about to go deep on Brewer's Bunker. What's up, Mike? What's happening, dude? I am so refreshed because I was off the grid for literally, I think, eight straight nights. And I think it felt like it felt like a lifetime and I didn't want it to end. I was almost depressed when I came back. I'll get into that. We got a lot of things to get into today. Uh, a little later, in, well, coming up, we're going to do the bunker. Um, just real quick, too. I think we're going to hit a million views on YouTube for my special Somebody Had to Say It. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. I think we're going to hit it before the end of the month. One million views, and uh, which is pretty nuts. And I'm starting to see... I have people I have people squawking at me like a cockatoo. Do you know what a cockatoo is, Mike? Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Uh, and senior special, and, man. <laughs> yeah, right. You've seen the special and the Patreon members have all seen the, the special and all that. One of the Patreon members who we're gonna be zooming and hanging out um I think tomorrow night. Dude, could you see this? Could you I gotta show you this? Hold on. A what is that? His his wife, his name's Travis. I don't want to give too much away for his own present. Yeah. But his wife, she came up the show and they and they and she freaking painted this. Hold on. <laughs> that's awesome. So dude, dude. That's great. Dude, she painted this. So she does the cockatoo. <laughs> Staring at the news because that's what all those cockatoos do, and just naming everything that it sees on the news and repeats it. So, me and Joe Sib, Joe Sib's doing the merch, which by the way, the merch is being shipped out, I believe, in two days. All the pre orders, and um, we're already working on a cockatoo. We have to do a cockatoo shirt. We just, I think the merch needs a cockatoo. He's talking about Met stuff. So go to jimbrewer.com for tours and merch. And yeah, hopefully eventually this cockatoo. So today we're going to go in the bunker. But before we do, I just want to tell you, I cannot reiterate enough how, how, how important it is to get off the grid. And what I mean by that is literally try driving in silence. Try turning your phone on do not disturb for at least five hours. Try having no internet. I mean, I get it if you're a mom or a dad and your kids at school and you know stuff like that. But the weekend comes, whatever it is, I'm telling you, now, yes, I'm blessed enough. I did a show in Alaska, uh, which was live on the Patreon. We do that once a month on the Patreon page. Uh, it, was a, it was a great show. Anchorage, Ohio, we packed the place. They want to have me back next year with, I think, four or five cities, which would be great. So part of that, I booked. It was really, really hard to... Um, kind of book things because it's peak time in Alaska. So I found this, um, I went through many places and I finally found it was one, there was one boat only allow like eight couples, but you had to, you had to get the, so I was like, ah, so I can't do that. Um, and so I find, I find this, it's a 72 foot sailboat. And we literally get on this thing. It's just a two-person crew. It's literally hanging out with either your really cool cousins or best friends, part of family. I don't know how to describe it. 
I was a little leery when I showed up. Like, all right, there's five of us going to be on this, this, this boat. There's just one main bedroom, and then there's two bedrooms and a side, a sitting area, and then up top you have where the captain drives, and up there to to oversee everything. And you can go outside, which I spent a lot of time on the boat outside. Um, the scenery in Alaska is beyond breathtaking. It is, it's, it's like being in Jurassic Park. I don't even know how to describe it. So Mike, do you have, do you have any of the um, stuff I, I sent you earlier? Do you have the ice dropping? Actually, yes, I do. Let me pull that up for you. All right. So just so you know, we, you know, you'll get on tour boats and, I'd even send Mike a lot of stuff. I didn't know overwhelm him. But before I show you this clip, <clears throat> the the sailboat would go in these little inlets. And then we had canoes or whatever we want to go out. And it was, and then we go on hikes and all that jazz. We come to this iceberg, which I see all the tourist boats come up. They go there for like 45 minutes, wait for something for the we sat there and docked there for about six, seven hours. The, the hearing of the ice going, <laughs> it, it, it sounded like loud thunder and like little mini bombs going off at times. It was unbelievable. And then there, I don't have the footage, but after what you're going to see, another huge chunk dropped in the water and the wave that came what was unreal my kids was kayaking with one of her friends my wife went a full-blown panic attack she's whistling watch the wave watch the wave and she's circling wave with her hand she's going wave and i kept i'm like dude don't do that you're gonna freak them out you're gonna freak them out <clears throat> and and you can the kids were fine. They were so far behind us. And it wasn't a tidal wave. It was a little wave. And you see the icebergs moving. But still, at first, you're a little freaked out. You know how big the wave is. But yeah, I was. But before that one happened, this one happened. And what's sick is the ice is just blue. It's pure, beautiful blue. And it's like a couple stories high. It's pretty sick. Check this out. Yeah. Now, that's my wife just to the left of her okay because i kept hearing cracks boom now that don't look like a lot but you don't understand how far away we are and you hear that <laughs> and then you you start to slowly see but that one was that one was big but that wasn't compared to the one that happened right after that because as i was looking I'm like i got the footage i went oh no <laughs> but the the peacefulness. And I'm not going to lie to you. I had a really hard time when we came back from the trip. I had an extremely hard time getting back cell service. And I realized I still have a bad addiction to uh, some social media, like going to TikTok and look at the videos and Instagram. Instagram, I'd look at messages. I go through messages nonstop. And it was the first time I have to say ever that I have no desire for it. And I'm not going to lie to you, I had a little tough time doing today. I had a little bit of a tough time. Um, because I did, I, I feel like I did a spiritual shower. I'm not even lying. It was just so, the more information that it's not, pummeled into your head and shown to you 24 7 and in your face it was like i the only thing that matters is, is peace and is your wife okay and your kids doing all right and how can i make their lives better it was awesome um so i hope everyone gets that experience and i'll share a little bit more as we move on so today i promised you we're going to do a bunker. Now, the last bunker we did got taken down. So I'm going to try my best to be uh, careful and let everyone know that the bunker is more about 
These are just, we're just playing. If you want to believe it, knock yourself out. If you don't want, if you, if you, if you don't want to believe it, knock yourself out. We're not saying we're right. We're not saying we're wrong. We're just saying. That's all. Just showing you some stuff, and you can you can take that however you want. However you want doesn't matter. Um, so today we have a couple fun guests. Of course, I have my all time buddy that joins me on the bunkers. Jimmy Shaka is here today. Yo. What's up, Shakaloo? How what are, are you? you doing? I'm doing good. Dude, I just came glad to be Alaska. here. I came back from Alaska. I I can't even. Now I'm gonna say this too. Anchorage. Yeah. I don't know, man. I had a weird, creepy feeling there. I'm just being honest. I had a great show, but it's just there's a weird downtown. There's I can't. We'll go, we'll get into that another time. I don't know what's going on over there. Uh, but once you're outside the city, just the most breathtaking, beautiful place I've ever seen in my life. It's right. unbelievable. Yeah. Interesting. Um, you doing good? So yeah, you know, um, getting taken down. You're talking about like on on the tube. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's like that is a badge of honor. That's like you made it. Uh, You taught me years ago. You said we need a media fast. Yes. He goes, you know how people Jimmy Shockin told me, he's like, you know how you do um, you fast with food or 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 you fast with whatever. He goes, we need more than eating food, a media fast, meaning zero done get it out of your system and then you'll start to be able to think again and your senses come back and your emotions aren't being toyed with and it's just it's it's quite a it's such a great feeling and it's super healthy for you i i own a television but i don't actually have like the hdmi plugged into the back of it i never have because it's not my thing you know i'm the same thing so we got we got Three TVs, and I begged D, my wife, not to get them. Right. So she got one in the living room. Big, crazy sucker. We got one for outside. I said, I don't want a TV outside. I'm not going to be. If I want to go outside, I want to watch the scenery. I don't want to. She ends up putting it outside. None of them have been on yet. And the Good. other one is in our bedroom. None of them have been. I, I shouldn't say that. My daughter will watch the one in the living room once in a while. And that I got to say. That doesn't yeah, count. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I don't watch it. And when they're watching, I got to go outside. It's like I'm, I'm disgusted unless I watch something amazing. First first of all, when you do a media fast um, and then you go back and you see television, it's like um, it's like either being in Times Square or like the middle of Vegas. It just looks like strobe lights and and it, it's it's annoying it's annoying to your eyes and your senses. And you're like, I can't believe people, this is entertainment. Like, this is what you, you know, like I see my mom, she sits in front of this thing 24 seven. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I don't know how they do it. You know, I, I really don't know how to do that. So, um, today we also have, where'd you find that? I, I haven't, I apologize. I haven't talked with them. Uh, no, that's I perfect. That's I know perfect. nothing about him. Uh, Perfect, but we call you call him John, and he's known as the as Patel to... Patel Patriot. Patel Patriot. Yeah. Uh, so John's going to be with us today, and then yep. uh, we have Eddie Bravo. Oh, I... yeah. Now <laughs> this is I was it'll be good to get is... our, get our words in now. <laughs> yeah, let me let me. The bunker has officially started. My sunglasses are on now. Right. I don't call this whatever, but every time we have Eddie Bravo on, something mechanical happens. He's the only guest. Yep. Let me say he is the one and only guest ever. Right. Where we have mechanical issues. Now, here's what's even crazier. I went on Eddie's show and laughed my I laughed. He just makes I feel Eddie to me is like the kid I I see at school and yeah. like if Eddie ain't going to school today I'm not going either ma because he's <laughs> the only one that can get me through the day right he's just like having a great giddy friend we yeah. know we're gonna have the giggles um I, I didn't even know I could do half the things he eggs me on so anyway 
Eddie Bravo is going to be here, and I'm very skeptical to see if he's actually going to be clear and speaking and not taken out. So yeah. we shall see. Yeah. Um, so let's let's just jump into it. Where are these guys? They're, are they they're here. Yeah. All right. Let's, let's let's say hello to them. Let's start with John. Ah, there's oh. Eddie. And <laughs> we can see you. This is good. I can see Eddie. Hey, we can hear you. Yeah. You know what? <clears throat> I'm actually in the room with the router. So I thought, okay, if it fucks up this time, then there's something screwy. But maybe, uh, you know, maybe um, uh-huh. it was just the router last time. Or, I don't know, man. It, it, it's crazy. I, I, yeah. I, I'm going to assume you're not a big tech guy. I'm not a big tech guy, Eddie. So I'm literally sitting in my closet because <laughs> it's next to the router. And right. yes, I should have got things that attach in the house that make the internet better. I've been told that and I've been told where to buy it, how to buy it multiple times. Has Jimbo done it? No, he hasn't. Um, so I'm just as to blame. I'm, I'm waiting to go in my garage where there'll be a studio. And yet I keep finding myself in my closet, uh, <laughs> sitting next to the router where my wife repeatedly says, don't let them see. Don't let, no, because people <laughs> like looking at the back. I'm like, who? Who cares that I got bed pillows or, right. or oh, shoot, the cockatoo. All right. But anyway. <laughs> With the, yeah. yeah. Now, Eddie, I haven't talked to you in a little while, but we're going to we're going to catch up after because that one date I told you about September 24th. Yeah, it's going down. It's 100 percent. And we got to do that sketch that I laughed at so damn hard. When I was on your show with the Klaus Schwab and all that, we we got to, we have to do the Illuminati Award Show. Right. That is. <laughs> I still think of that every day, and I laugh my ass off. I laugh my ass off. Uh, but we, I laugh my ass off at your George Soros man and your Klaus Schwab. <laughs> both of them are great. I don't know which one I like better, man. To tell you the truth, <laughs> they're both so good. I, I got to work because I keep falling back into two. You keep sending me great stuff. And I, and I look at it for like 10 seconds and then I'm, then I'm distracted and then I forget. But no, now it's game time and I have to be ready by September 24th. So we'll, we'll jump into this. We have to do the Illuminati game show. It's going to be hilarious. You mean the um, Illuminati award show, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, not game show. The Illuminati award show. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> What what voice would host it? Who would host it? Would it be? Would it? Can you do like? Uh, can you do Chris Rock? <laughs> oh, can do Chris Rock. I can do. That's what monkey pox. That's what coming in with the monkey pox. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is that Will Smith? Not Will Smith coming up with me with a monkey pack. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I think we'll have to definitely have a. You know what? I just saw some kid on the internet doing Chris Rock, a white kid. He does Sebastian Maniscalco. He does Chris Rock. He's. But that's you know, poor Chris, he's got like a nasally because <laughs> he slows down and pronunciate. <laughs> can you do can you do a Sebastian? Mm. That's, um that's every yeah. that's every guinea New Yorker I ever met. You know? <laughs> it's more like I you gotta watch this kid. This kid I'm a guinea, do, I like, say. he he goes, um I mean I, I can't. I can't. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, he does this whole like. Um, so uh, I walk into this castle, right? And I'm got- walking into this castle. <laughs> he slides and he slides over here. He slides over there. I don't want to come off like I'm like I'm poking fun at him, but I I, I don't know. Yeah, I need work on Sebastian, but I can. I, I got to get his approval, and I don't want Sebastian mad at me. But, yeah, he gets a whole, like, 
Oh, man. I, 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 I asked Mr. The Sor- I asked Mr. Soros for a, a glass of cranberry juice. And uh, I, I, I got to be honest with you. It doesn't look like cranberry juice. <laughs> <laughs> don't look like. Well, if you, if you look at it, it's also in a cr- <laughs> <I guess. laughs> It just it tastes just like cranberry juice. <laughs> You'll be young <laughs> forever. <laughs> it, 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 it's just blood. If you guys here, it is the beginning of all money marketing factory. <laughs> and with the factory, we make the blood for the young children and then we take down the United States of America. And uh, yeah. yeah, I got Sam. a question for you, yeah. George Soros. Uh, is, yeah. George, it's is uh, ad- adrenochrome all the same quality, or is there high quality and low quality? Uh, and, if yeah. and if there is high quality, how does it look like you're 100 years old? It's many different qualities. First of all, first of all, I would much say that um, I am 725 years old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so... I have to say, the younger the children, and see, the great, my body, my choice, what they don't understand is the factories that I created under parenthood, uh, where we lure these innocent people in and we just take them in and we organ hops them. But I would say that Ukraine has the best young bloods of mine. <laughs> Which is why we need more money to go there, to get the straw out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm becoming younger. <laughs> Fucking creep. <laughs> um, so, all right. Now, Eddie, do you know? Uh, I don't know this guy. I don't know Patel, John uh, Patel, Patel Patriot. Patriot. The I, devolution thing. Yeah, the, I. Uh, um, I've heard him brought up a bunch of times. I don't know him personally, but I hear the Patel Patriots posting a lot, like on the you know, truth, truth, uh, chats and stuff like that. But I don't know that much about him, but, uh, you know, I, yeah. I, uh, I hope he's, he's here. I hope he's legit. Yeah. We'll find Great. out. And also at the, uh, I want to, I have one specific video for you today, Eddie. It's, okay. um, I'm like, Oh, I think Eddie will be able to wrap his head around that one. But there, we're going to start off nicely. Is John with us or no? Yes. I mean, uh, yeah. John Patel. Hey, what's up, hey, John? How's, hey, how's it going? Very nice good, man. Meet, uh, meet Mr. Eddie Bravo and Jimmy Shaka. Yeah, nice to meet you guys. Well, yeah. I hope I'm not like expected to do any impressions or anything. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> we're 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 in a bunker today. So when we're in a bunker, some people will say it's a conspiracy. So we we're not claiming anything's a fact. Um, however, you can take it that way. How you take things is how you take them. So we're not saying we're right. We're not saying we're wrong. We're just saying. We're right. just playing. That's all. None of this is. It's. It's just a wink, wink, winkity wink. Uh, just a conversation <laughs> at the end of the day. Now, John, you you come from Shaka. How, how did you two guys connect? Well, I I have been a fan of John's work, and. Uh, and so I know that we talk about that stuff, Jim, all the time. So I wanted to see if I could hook him up with the show here. You okay. know, so that's actually how I just connected with him through Telegram. I reached out to um, some people on his board and I said, hey, if you can get a message to John, we'd love to have him on on the Brewer show. You know? And John, what do you what do you um, like? What are you pushing out there? What are you? Are you the truth seeker? Are you the uh, conspiracy guy? Are you the exploiting what what where's your world coming from yeah well uh, some people call it conspiracy but uh, i i base everything i i research about it's all publicly available documents but it's a whole theory the devolution theory that trump used a a continuity of government plan and he he did it in the face of an election and so when when he walked away on the on the 20th of you know january 20th of 2020 he did so in a sense, uh, devolving his power as president. So Joe Biden really wouldn't be in control as president because there's a continuity government plan in place instead. And so, con- yeah, so continuity government, that means like um, there's something, ca- some catastrophic thing is going to go down and there is no way we can let this happen. So we have to take some drastic measures, basically. So we put right. up the Batman, so bam, 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 and then he comes back. 
Dun, 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 dun. I'm here to save the world. I hope. Is, is that what we're talking about? I would love it if that's exactly how he how he makes his comeback in September. <laughs> so what? Is, what? All right. Well, what in your head? A, do you think he's the one to to be the comeback? And B, how do you see this scenario playing out? <laughs> It, it all comes down to what continuity government is like. He said, so it, it stemmed from the, the Cold War back when we were going back and forth with Russia and there was like threat of nukes. Our government put this continuity of government stuff in place so that if Washington was nuked, there'd be a kind of like a backup plan like or a secondary form of government that would run the country, you know. And so there's these plans readily available throughout our entire government for worst case scenarios. And it was about it was December 7th of 2020. Trump issued an executive order. So this is as an outgoing president, he issued this ex executive order um, where he uh, he essentially redid how we how we do continuity of government. It, the whole thing was establishing a committee to implement and execute continuity of government plans. And so I would issue something like that as he's leaving. Right. Continuity. Right. Is that what you say? What do you what kind of government? Continuity of government. Continuity. Like the government oh, continues. Government. Yep. Gotcha. So you're saying he's still in control right is that what you're saying and in a, in a sense in a sense so is the so is what we're watching right now a a wake-up call to the to, to basically convince people do you realize how bad this is getting do you realize what a tragedy this is have yeah. you woken up out of your spell yet is is that the theory you're going on? I just I'm just curious. It, it, that's pretty darn close. So think about this: How many times did Trump say before the election that the election was going to be stolen? Right, right, right. Constantly, he was constantly telling us the election was going to be stolen. And if you look back to what he did in 2017, 2018, he established this committee to look into how we do our elections. And the whole thing, like if you read what they did, it it basically perfectly spelled out the the 2000 Mules report that that Greg Phillips and Catherine Engelbrecht just came out with. Like it was it was almost exactly the mail-in ballot fraud all the you know illegal registrations everything so he knew exactly how they were going to steal elections he's known it for a long time okay so knowing that how could you be a president and and see that these people are going to steal an election but not do anything about it right mm -hmm. and so i believe he was prepared for it and i believe they they have a ton of evidence for it. i mean there's a ton of evidence everywhere there's more coming out every day but i think they've had it since the election took place now then you fast forward to january 20th and you're Trump and you're looking at what the media has been doing for you, to you since 2016, you know, calling you right. a Russian asset. They, they lie. They spin everything. It's right. It's all about the narratives. If Trump right. had done anything to prevent Biden from taking office, I mean, with tensions as high as they were, they were there would have been like right. a small scale civil war. Sure. But he really had no choice but to walk away. And I think since then, all we've seen is basically the mainstream media and, and, and the Biden administration fumble over themselves and nobody wants them anymore. They're almost irrelevant. Like the media, nobody cares about the mainstream media and, and the Biden administration. I mean, it's a joke. So you remember that um, like early on when uh, uh, Biden was on this Hollywood sound stage and it was supposed to be yeah. it's right. supposed to be the White House. Like, right. What do you what do you make of that, John? Like, is it is it really fake? Is, is he just, you know, what do you think? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, well, I here. I, I, I'm going to inter interrupt you because we have a video and I keep saying as the bunker, as a fake, as a character, I am simply a character voicing out the character's opinions. <laughs> Biden is not real. And I want to show two videos right here. And you explain to me what the current who they call Biden is. The character of the bunker is playing a video that's just silly. Play this video. Both of them. The D.C. Metropolitan back. Police, other law enforcement agencies were attacked and assaulted before our very eyes. Speared, <laughs> sprayed, stomped on, brutalized. Listen to his voice. Lives were lost. And for three hours. He don't blink. defeated former president of the United States watched it all happen. No blinking! He sat in the comfort of the private dining room next to the Oval Office. Still hasn't blinked! While he was doing that, brave law enforcement... Listen to his voice! Subject to George the Clooney! Hell ...for three hours. He still hasn't blinked! <laughs> what the fuck was that? That's you're gonna you're gonna tell me, 
as a human being, you believe with your heart of hearts that's it. You can't tell me he was backstage like, wait, 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 wait. Fix the makeup. Fix the makeup. How's the eyes? Charcoal. But they haven't answered it. They haven't questioned anything yet, sir. You're right. Go ahead. Put him out there. His eyes were like this for what? And that. And his voice is totally different. Totally different. Tell me I'm tell me a lunatic as a character here in the bunker. That that look at him. He's like this. Hey, that. His voice is deeper. Uh, play the other one. Play the other one. The hail yo is up. Listen to this chick. Look at his nose. He got a new nose. Look. What is that? What the fuck? <laughs> He ain't blinking behind them glasses either. <laughs> right. And his head ain't moving. This I don't is, know. Ah, uh, dude, I, there's no, no money in the world you can convince me that that is a that is that is the real person. There's no. Any, I honestly, I I, honestly, I think, I, I think they took, I think they took the other guy out, like because he was he was bad. He was he was the dirtiest of the dirty. Um. Yeah, and I, I think, I think they took him out, but I, I don't, and I think this guy is an actor. Uh, personally, that's just my personal thing. Because if you A B pictures, I know John, you've talked about how you, you just think it, he could have had a facelift, mm -hmm. and uh, you sure know he is. is older now and stuff like that. Um, I don't know personally. I think he's not the same guy. Blue eyes, brown eyes. I mean, so, I, don't, I don't get it. Stupid. So, so which side is he an actor for then? That's the question. Like. Mm. Did did they take him out and uh <laughs> right? Is it yeah. is it the bad guys are putting him out there and they're going, oh God, he's, his mask is it his neck is not the same color as his chest. Can we get ahead? <laughs> Close on the eyes! Close on the eyes! Or is it the good guys going? <laughs> Wait, wait, wait! Don't make him blink. Ooh, that's a great idea. Don't make him blink. Right. How many? How many people still believe in this? Oh, we're down to about thirty-two. They're the ones still wearing a mask. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> right. Maybe. They're the one. They're the ones in line to get the monkey. <laughs> okay. All right. We got it. All right. Well, we can. You know, we'll we'll figure them out as we move on. That's a great question, Eddie. You have any thoughts on that or no? He's fake. Um, See the the thing with the uh, with a uh, devolution, uh, devolution mm. would be the counter to the new world order, right? So anybody, yep. if the counter is real, if there actually is a counter, and uh, then it'd have to be smart people devising the plan. And if your plan doesn't uh, address the fact that a large percentage of the population is under hypnosis, then mm. your your plan is shit. So it's like, uh, yeah. how do we wake people up if someone right. in, that, in that room, that conference room said, okay, we'll make a, a six-hour DVD with all the evidence. We release it to everybody, and that's it. Uh, that would be the dumbest plan ever because uh, when you're dealing, you got to have a, a real plan that deals with um, a large percentage of the population in a trance, in a real trance, not like a metaphoric trance. Like They're under hypnosis. How do you deal with that? And the plan would have to be something like we got to just – we got it. We'll, we'll let Biden win. We'll catch him cheating, and then we do it for four years until it takes. Four, it, it's going to take four years of constant battering to wake people up because people are still asleep. So if people think mm. that oh, the, the the arrest didn't go down. Everybody wanted the arrest to go down January twentieth. They wanted everybody arrested. But now looking back, me included. But now looking back, that would have did nothing. The arrest, the arrest. Arrest ain't gonna do nothing. So you're thinking, where are the arrest? The arrest ain't gonna do nothing. Nothing. If they arrested Pelosi, Schumer, Nadler, Schiff, Hillary, Obama, all of them, they got ten demons waiting in line for each position. Look True. what happened to Cuomo. Look what happened to uh, Cuomo from New York. They put another demon. There's always demons. So arrests will mean nothing. We have to mm. change the system. So mm, yes. you're really gonna change the system if there really is a counter. You have the, the main thing in the counter will be. How do we deal with 30, 40% of the population under hypnosis? Hmm. How do you deal with that? That's what I want. That's the plan I want to know. And devolution sounds like the only legit plan. 
Mm. Yeah, yeah I, I think it's 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 even bigger than that. Cause, I mean, I don't think quite as many people in the population anymore are even hypnotized. I think this comes down to how do you fix the elections? Because if you fix the elections, you fix everything. Because there's no way that in 2020 all these same you know corrupt politicians got elected, right? <laughs> right. Or there's even Newsom. So for sure. You, right. you know, no, no, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. You have to fix the election. You have to fix everything. You have to fix yep. like. Uh, voter, you know, the whole voting process, the voter ID, the citizenship, and all that shit, for sure. But you can't do that if people are still under hypnosis. You can't for do sure. that. Well, they got to wake them up first. And I still see a lot of people with under sure. hypnosis. I still see a lot of them. They're and, still and out so how, how do you wake them up? I, I think the only thing that reaches the most people is is you hit them in the wallet. And I think that's what we've been seeing. Right. In, with inflation going up and, and the stock market crashing. And we're still spending... You know what is it 50 billion dollars now we're sending over to ukraine and i mean that doesn't make any sense like uh, that's the only thing that's got to do it's like they're doing this on purpose right and that, yeah, uh, it, it that's what i've been like, saying day one sorry eddie go ahead yeah it's, it seems like since day one since day it's almost like if devolution's real it's like okay we're gonna we're gonna just let biden be president his administration and just watch him do what they do and just watch him and it's like when trump got in when Trump got in, like the plan had to be a, a like a ten year plan because it can't be like a two year plan. It's so right. fucking infested. So it's like yeah, it right. must have been. Trump goes in, unplugs all their shit, then dips <laughs> out <laughs> and like, with the election, and then watch watch who plugs everything back in. Look, look who's plugging everything back in, and we're seeing right. oh shit. I used to think it was just DC. I thought I was paying attention to DC like a mother. I wasn't paying attention to local politics. <laughs> And then once once you realize, oh shit, it's not just DC, it's worldwide. It's Hollywood, it's corporations, it's mm. it's uh um the sports organization, it's it's fucking everywhere. It's the DAs, it's the attorney generals, it's the governors. Oh yes. God, how powerful are the governors? Governors are like almost more powerful than presidents. Governors are everything. I didn't even know who the yep. go I didn't even know Newsom a few years ago. I didn't even I was like, ah, right. governors and shit. It's all about DC. And I was wrong. It's like, it's like you remember that movie Pitch Black where they go into a a, 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 um, a planet, they land, they crash land on a planet. It's like Vin Diesel. And when the sun goes down and it's dark, all these fucking creatures come out. And then the right. sun goes down and they're like, they hear shit. They kick, they turn on like a like a lighter and there's all these demons and shit and animals all around them. That's, that, to me, that's what it, it was like. I was looking at watching <laughs> They turned on the lights and it's worldwide. Yep. You're right, scary man. Shit. Scary it's, shit. A, it's a little spooky. And, uh, you know, I never understood that word, the great awakening, the great awakening, the great awakening. I'm starting to understand what that means. And what it means is not just here. It is worldwide where people mm -hmm. going, people going, what the fuck? Like, what? <laughs> what the fuck? Are you, are you, are you guys? Are you, is this how, like, are we really, is no one paying it, everything that happens, no one, no one talks about, no one pay attention, it's just, it's weird, it's weird, I don't even know how to describe it, it's just bizarre. Um, I but I yeah, think, ahead, I Jimbo. think, I think we, um, I just think we're growing up, humanity is growing, I've, I've said this forever, that humanity is the three-year-old becoming the four-year-old, right? When you're the three-year-old, it's like mine, mine, and that's all the politics and all the bullshit that's going on. And then when you when you get a little older and you're the four-year-old, you start to deal with more like uh, ethical things, like that's not right. You don't, well, you don't steal. You don't do this. It's not right. We're just we're just growing up a little bit, and you can't ungrow up. Like we've all we, we're growing up. So so they're they're you know, and then as the as you get older, you look at the little kids like they're ridiculous, you know, with their bat fighting o over this bullshit. You know what I mean? So we're kind of looking at television. We look at most of humanity, uh, I think, looks at television right now like, all right, come on, guys. Like, you know, play in your own sandbox. Don't mess his sandbox up. You know what I mean? It's ridiculous, right? Like we're looking now we're looking at politicians. It's fucking ridiculous, like Eddie was saying. You know, we we're we're watching them pull their games. When you know when I, I mean? watch, yeah, when I watch Gavin, I'm like, could you really, 
this kid, this guy can't be real. He's, he looks like uh, he's starring in a new film, and he, and he la- He's always got like, no matter what I say, I'm just a damn looking guy on camera, and everything I say, I mean. Make sure you vote for me. By the way, you're allowed to bang children. Good night. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if you if you bang a twelve year old, no jail time. Good night. Bang. And people are like what? Voted for me again. What? What the? Like what is going? All right. Well, this is interesting. All right, because I felt. From, I'm going to give you the whole theory on what I saw in the Trump world. I don't like saying this. Let's hear it. From day one, now Jimmy would tell you, I've always saw politics as professional wrestling. I've been saying that since then. This side wants to build a wall. <laughs> this side wants you, uh, you know, let anyone in and rape in your book. And my people and these people are racist. Right, 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 right. And I think we should have a choice. Right, 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 right. They, think they want more guns. More guns right. Take your guns. Take the guns away. And it's, <laughs> it's the same. It's true. Every, you know, what do you think about abortion? Well, you know, I can't. Uh, what do you think about uh, immigration? Well, I'll be honest with you. Same stupid game. And, and all, the only thing lacking. Is the is that beep, 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 in the background? That's it. Now, with that said, I'm not saying this is what it was, but from observing in the background, I'm just throwing out a theory. I always saw like Trump. I I was not a fan of. I was not a fan of. I was actually embarrassed. I was like, we're gonna put a reality star. Is this what's really going on? And then, then. I had some friends that said, dude, you gotta you gotta watch him debate, dude. It's and the first time I watched, I'm like, I don't understand what what do you what is the interest here? And I watched him against Jed Bush. <laughs> and Jed Bush, you know, Trump said something and the and the audience booed. And Trump goes, Oh, that's all right, because they're all paid for. You paid for all of them. And Jed Bush's face. Instantly was like, <coughs> you're not allowed to call people out. Like you, you can just tell. No one ever did that. Nobody ever said time out. First of all, I don't care if you guys booed because he paid for all of you to be in here. Uh, I know the game because I've been in it. Because I'm a mall. I'm a mall. I've been a mall. I've been around mobsters. I've been around Giuliani. Who took down the mobsters? Giuliani. Who took that? There's a lot of deeper layers here that people don't really see, but I started to see. I saw this becoming like a godfather, where it's like, man, and he came in, and he's like, boys, we're going to war. And like, well, who are we going to war with that? Who are we going to? First, we're going to take down Hollywood. What? No, you can't. Uh, Brad Pitt and uh, Robert De Niro. No, you can't do that. Then we're going to take down the news. What? Okay, now you lost your mind. Then we're going to stop child trafficking. What? Never even heard of that one. But okay, keep going on, boss. And then we're going after big pharmaceutical and the global elites. Boys, it's gonna be a long war, but we're gonna win this war. And then all of a sudden, all you saw him do is go, fake news, fake news, fake news, fake news, fake news. Show a clip, show a clip, show a clip. Caught, fake, caught, fake, staged. Holy crap, St- oh my God, fake, fake. And then the world, not just here, the world started going, um, has anyone ever questioned the media? Eddie, you brought up a good point a long time ago. No one had these resources years ago. And then I just started watching how viciously they, they went after him. 
But then I saw him at this at this um, thing with Hillary Clinton, where it was right after they debated, and he's in this room for a benefit, and to his left is Clinton and some priest, and every and the, that speech. I'm telling you, everyone should watch because if he's playing us, he's a damn good player. He's the greatest in history. But so is Hillary Clinton and so is everyone else in that room because their faces were dead on when he started calling things out. He sat there and he basically looked at Hillary Clinton and he's like, "Ah, you know, they say it takes a village to raise a kid and Hilly would know that because she took the villages of Haiti. And her face and the and the priest, like Lily did one of these in the chair, like warp, 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 warp. And then <laughs> you saw you saw the people behind him do this. They started looking at each other. They, they weren't laughing, they weren't booing. They did the same thing that the actors did when Ricky Gervais started calling everyone out as a pedophile. They didn't laugh. They didn't get mad. They looked at each other like this. Um, are we going to get invaded right now? Like, is this really happening? Is it, um, <laughs> um, is, uh, are we live on television right now? Is this going down? Like, um, uh, he's talking about we've been Epstein Island. And, uh, <laughs> he's, uh, he's joking, right? It was the same. And matter of fact, Trump even said at that time, he's like, you know, you all were my friends. Matter of fact, some of you even took my money. And he started pointing to certain individuals. And he goes, and then I said I was going to run for president. But I had to do it as a Republican. And then, oh, wow, I became the devil. Became the devil. And that's okay. That's okay. And I felt like I grew up around. Jimmy and I, you know where we grew up. The real chess players play for the long game Mm. and once they know all your moves and once they know all your fighting tactics they take their it's like smoking a cigarette it reminds me of a moment where i was on like snl and norm mcdonald was like smoking a cigarette and he's just he's waiting for the lights to go on and people, you know, it, they were just busting his ass. I don't want to tell the story because I, I don't want to throw someone under a bus. And I told the story many times. But he waited till the lights went on before he flicked his cigarette and he just nailed it. That's what I feel is your devolution. And it is going to go that way. Um, but I don't, I don't know. But I have to say, I, I, I don't know. I don't know anymore. I said everything's on the table. You want to put lizard people on there? Throw them on the table. You want to, you want to put uh, the aliens are ruling everything? I'm in. Whatever, whatever you put out there now, I'm all in. We're just, it's, I don't know what to believe anymore. But if I had to take a couple steps back, i think of it more like a mobster movie. And he set everyone up. And all the bananas that portrayed him. They just fell right in his trap, and now there's no way. They're in the cage like this. <laughs> ah! You're never going to win! And he's just smoking think, a cigarette going. The... Yeah, we'll see. What, what do you Eddie? think Operation Warp Speed is about? Why did Trump, why did Trump uh, uh, all of a sudden get so pro-vaccine? And wh- how, why did, what was the plan behind that? I, I heard the theories, but... I, I do too. What, let me, yeah, that's yeah. a good, do you have a theory on that? Yeah, yeah, I do. So first, first to touch on what you said, this is all about like the media being the enemy of the people, right? Trump attacked the, the media constantly and, and he did so Thank because they truly, they truly are. I mean, what they put this country through it, it has been hell ever since, both, I mean, for decades, <clears throat> but specifically with Trump, I mean, it started with the Russia collusion hoax, which it, 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 we see more evidence every day that that was a hoax. Then it went into, they couldn't get him out of office that way. So they tried to impeach him. All this stuff it culminated with covid and the you know the theft of the election the election shenanigans with covid specifically trump taught us by not trusting the media mm. uh, really he taught, he taught us to question the media but also to question politicians themselves yes like like we, none of his followers or those who fo- who truly follow trump will, will even do everything he says just because he says it like we'll right. question him 
So, right. so think about Trump. If, if you're going to come out here, we all know we, we search for the truth and we know that there's something weird going on with the vaccines. So just because Trump says, hey, we should be pro vaccine, you, you know, we're not just going to blindly take it. I, I did a poll on my Telegram channel once. Yeah. And I, I had like 20,000 people respond to it. And it's, it's, it's probably gotten up to like 80,000 now. But out of the 20,000, 99 percent said that they would not take the jab just because Trump recommended it, but they would still vote for him. Right. So if you're Trump, you're trying to play politics, you know, the enemy is still has a, a grip on some of these, you know, the people in our country. If, if you come out anti-vaccine, then the media is going to blame everything this country is going through on Trump. Like True. The economy, all this stuff, because, you know, Trump's not he's telling people not to get the vaccine. We, so we're stuck in this covid nightmare and it's all Trump's fault by coming out pro vaccine. I believe he took that card out of their hands. And so he was he was following the same line as, as the Biden administration and the media. And so they couldn't pin what, what happened with the economy and what the country is going through on Trump anymore. They 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 had to be on Biden's shoulders because he's the one that's, you know, president in control. Does that make sense? Yeah. Eddie's um, got a great theory in this. Jimmy, did you want to comment for Eddie? Does it? Because well, Eddie... the only thing. Yeah, go yeah. ahead. But the, the only thing I was going to say was that also what John was saying, like as soon as Trump <laughs> said um, that he was you know taking a pro vaccine stance, I think all his followers were going, ooh, this is interesting. Why is he making this move? We weren't saying just do it. We were saying, why is he making this move? Like, right. this is fascinating. Right. You know? There's more to it, too. I mean, if you look at what actually Operation Warp Speed is, like in the documents, mm -hmm. Trump basically, he, he, he enabled the Department of Defense to not only, you know, make their own vaccines and all this stuff behind the scenes, but the Department of Defense basically fast-tracked the, the vaccines from Big Pharma. Operation Warp Speed was a partnership with between the Department of Defense and the uh, Secretary of Health and Homeland Security or whatever that is. And they worked together to make sure that Big Pharma didn't hold on to these vaccines. They were produced quicker. They were put to market quicker, everything. So you have those people out there that have that conspiracy theory that this was a five year rollout of the vaccines. And after 10 years, everybody's going to be dead. <coughs> Trump made that stuff get to market in a year. And then just about a, it was December of this last year, we got news out of Walter Reed that the Department of Defense has been researching their own vaccine behind the scenes. Nobody knew about it. There was no leaks about it. But that vaccine is supposed to not only cure COVID, but all future variants. So while that research was all going on behind the scenes, they were getting all these big pharma stuff to market. And I think that stuff's in their, their final phase of trials now. But, but yeah. All right. Two things. But we'll start with Eddie because Eddie has a, has a theory as well that I've heard that I've personally heard. And I just went, wow, that's, to me, everything's just interesting. Just great conversation. Eddie, you, you have a theory, well, right? Well, I mean, my, my theory is, uh, um, you know, I didn't, I didn't invent it, uh, but it seems right. like if there is a counter, uh, then there is a New World Order plan. So the mm -hmm. New World Order plan was uh, drag the vaccine out for 10 years. And then mm. by like 2033, that's when you release it. And meanwhile, it takes about 10 years to completely destroy um, the Constitution, our economy and everything. So that was the plan. And mm. uh, if there's a counter, how do you counter that plan? So uh, the theory is that Trump, because if you know the New World Order, the New World Order plan is the vaccine passport. That's number one. Get everybody on the vaccine passport and uh, to control every aspect of your life, social credit system, carbon credits, everything, the bank account, they can just freeze everything. So you can't tell everyone, uh, hey, everyone got to get on this app, you know, so we can control you. So <laughs> that would work. So it had to be through the vaccine, right? So that's uh, people that know the New World Order know that was the plan. The va Alex Jones been talking about it forever, the vaccine passport. So the plan was, um, it, you know, during the 10 years of destroying the economy and the country, you know, you build the infrastructure to control everybody with this vaccine passport. So the infrastructure is going to take a while, too, to get a, a worldwide database and all that shit. So the plan was, why don't we fucking Operation Warp Speed this fucking plan, have the, the vaccines come out before they're ready, fuck up the, there's no infrastructure ready, it comes out, and, um, and look what happened. Where's the vaccine passports? They disappeared. They were everywhere. They implemented them. You wouldn't think they would take them out. In LA, they put them in and then they take them out. They weren't ready for them. Had too many fake cards. There was no mm. Google database. 
There was mm. none of that. So, and that plan was a, a year. I heard, of, I heard of that theory a year ago. And look mm. what happened. The vaccine right. passports are decimated. So mm. maybe that's what it was. He, maybe it was like, mm, we could just drag this out for 10 years and go along with their plan or fucking hit them with the vaccine nine months and just fuck up their plans. The timing was too fucked up. So they, they couldn't sustain the vaccine passport. They had to pull them. That, that's a theory. You know, so I, know. That, hmm, that's that's Where's extreme. Where's vaccine passports at? They're gone. Vaccine passports are gone. Where are they at now? That's right. They'd have to start all over again. There was never a database. If they did they, to get the vaccine passport done, they'd have to do a whole new book and, and a pandemic. And that shit, dude, any pandemic they do now, the monkey pox. <laughs> the monkey weak. pox. It's going to be weak. Because you, you know what? Yeah. Because in, at LAX is the only airport in the United States where uh, mass mandates are still in place. When they dropped the mass mandates at all the airports, LA County said, fuck that shit. In LA County, LAX, you still got to wear masks. I've been on like seven flights since then. And the airport's weird because half the people have masks, half the people don't have masks, and nobody's enforcing it. I go right up to TSA, give them my ID, no fucking mask. They don't say shit. And then every five minutes over the loudspeaker, you got to wear your mask. It's got to cover your mouth and nose. You got to wear your mask. It's got to cover. You just, and no one, every, half the people don't have masks. No one says shit. No one's enforcing it. And if they're not enforcing it at the airport, you know, the airport is the most Nazi of all. This, anything they try with this monkey pox and all that shit, that's just going to, it's going to be weak. It's the ninja really pox. Weak. The monkey pox. Let's, let's try, let's try, should we try a monkey? Let's try a monkey bar. And, and the only way you can get it is by sticking a wiener in a hiney hole. How about is it? But, but it spreads like wild. Yeah, this is I don't know what the angle. I don't know what the angle. Like, why did you have to go gay on that one? What? Like, well, uh, oh, okay. I'm going to defend myself right now. Uh, Mike, can you please play um, the dream? Or is our buddy right here? Dream rare. No, no. Hey, hey, hey Jim. No, no. What I was saying was. Why did? Why are they saying that it's a gay? Yes, release? why? It is weird. That why? Why, would why are that? you saying? That's, that's, I would say if I was oh. fucking, if I was George Soros, I would be pissed at whoever fucking made it a gay disease. What would George <laughs> Soros say? He'd be mad. They make everything. Actually, 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 I think. Actually, I think this is. Um, yeah, I, I. I wish we fired her. We fired her. But <laughs> the man. <laughs> the, the man. <laughs> The madness of the, and the honesty of it is, yes, it is a, is it is a homosexual disease. However, <laughs> we have to, we have to, um, um, we get rid of that theory because we are spreading AIDS through the virus. <laughs> so I, that, I'm going to win a great award for this one. In about four years. A, I'm going to win my lifetime achievement award for taking down humanity. <laughs> Here, play Dream Rare. Can you play this, Mike? Um, we do have seen now two cases that have occurred in children. Both of those children um, are traced back to uh, individuals who come from the men who have sex with men community, the gay men, uh, men community. Um, and so when we have seen those cases in children, they have generally <laughs> been what I call adjacent to the community most at risk. Um. Do you think they like randomly just got it? Or do you think like maybe based on the evidence it might be um, sexually transmitted, which might mean um, um, maybe you guys could look into it instead of locking down gyms and forcing masks onto everybody so it's easier to hide your identity in public. I don't know. That was quite the interesting video clip to say the least. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, it's transmitted by uh, the men who uh, are with other men in uh, that community. So, <laughs> what the fuck is that about? What was that about? It's transmitted in the um, uh, community of, uh, you know, when they put the thing in the thing and it, and, and hey, it's that whatever you're into. And then, but then a kid got it in that same community. Let me repeat the word kid. A kid got it in the community where they're getting it from putting something in a hiney. In a hiney. A kid will say hiney, but a kid got it. Uh, I'd say that's um, uh, the word alarming. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, gay community and kid. Whoop, whoop, whoop. 
got it. And again, that's what that video said. That's not me. I'm a character. I don't know how these people got it. I think it's it's all just goofiness. Um, all right. I want to play this one. We're going to make a little left turn. Oh, should we? This, this video scares me, so I don't know if I'll play it. I don't want YouTube to take us down, but. Ah. I'll do I'll do the heavy one and then I'll end with the other one. This way, if, if YouTube's like, I don't know why they let's just play it and we'll think about editing later. Mike, play um Deborah. Do you guys know who Deborah Parks is? Let me let me let me Deborah Parks, do you remember when Trump was in president and she come out? She was kind of like the specialist with Fauci and she always had Deborah a scar. What's her name? Deborah Burks. Burks, I'm sorry. What did I say? Parks. Okay, yeah. All right. Yeah, so she, came, she was the scarf lady. Okay. Right. Right. Check out. And she would come to the podium and tell you what to do. Check out what she says right here for the world to listen to. Vaccines were not going to protect against infection. And I think we overplayed the vaccines and it made people then worry that. It's not going to protect against severe disease and hospitalization. It will, but let's be very clear. 50% of the people who died from the Omicron surge were older, vaccinated. What? So, stop that there. So, oh. wait, so I don't have any infringement. Sorry. So she just said, but play, play the beginning again, Mike. I, I, I want to I hear the exact wording. Of what she just said vaccines on television. Not protect against infection, and I think we overplayed the vaccines, and it made we, people then worry that it's not going to protect against severe disease and hospitalization. It will, but let's be very clear: fifty percent of the people who died from the Omicron surge were older, vaccinated. So, is it me, or did she, as a character? I'm just talking as a character. Did she just basically say we lied? Yeah. Yeah. We, uh, everybody I'm trying knows to understand it. this. I'm not saying she lied. I'm trying to understand. She went from, you got to do this, to now she's saying we may have overplayed this because we really didn't know enough. Uh, did, did I hear that right? Or right. am I crazy? Am I crazy? Yeah, she's backpedaling. They have to because everybody, it's its too obvious. Everybody knows that it was all bullshit. So they can't say, yeah, we were bullshitting. Uh, so but they say, well, we overplayed. We overplayed that people lost their jobs. We overplayed that people died. We right. overplayed that we enforced children to get this. We overplayed people that lost their livelihoods whoopsie daisy right i dropped the ball I just, oh my god you know sometimes i just you know sometimes you win sometimes you lose i'm sorry are you on food stamps now were you working for the fire department for 30 years your whole life but you couldn't work anymore because you were forced to do something but now you got let go because you're oh i'm sorry do you do you not allow to go to your college, which your parents already gave money for and already signed the fucking lease and know damn well that you can't back out of that money now that you just said your kid can't go unless they get a <laughs> and another. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, they can't sit home. If, I mean, if that's what you want. I'm sorry. Is that what I just heard? Yeah. This is all part of it, though. I mean, th this is part of what why Trump walked away too. It's all part of dismantling the narrative, and and the media has completely lost control yeah. of the COVID narrative, and now they're scrambling to get another disease in there so that they can try to steal the midterms too. Like that's ninja, and it's box. so obvious. Monkey box. Here comes the midterms. Like, what are they gonna pull? You know oh, what I mean? Oh, it's gonna get crazy. It's gonna yeah. get crazy. We're gonna have to take guns away. We're going to have to have shoot. It's going to be madness. It's going to be madness. Think about this, though. Th you know, these these are players with with big toys, big, you know, 
uh, how lucky is the whole planet that we haven't seen a city blow up as a distraction? You know what I mean? Uh, like, uh, hold on now, hold uh, on now. Yeah. Did you see New York as of today and two weeks ago? New York put out. Um, uh, yeah, know, ads, like, ads, ads saying. Hey, just in case we're newt, do the following. Get indoors as quick as possible. Now, if you can't get in a basement, go in the middle of the room. And whatever you do, make sure you listen to the authorities on what to do next. You know. well, and today, they said, hey, New York, <laughs> Just in case you got to evacuate real quick, most likely. Do me so very get a little bag and pack it in your house right now. That came out today. Right. Fact check me, but that came out today. No, you're right. You're right. But but it came uh what well where I saw it was um a clip from Bloomberg. Bloomberg News, right? Everybody this is this is Mike. Oh damn! It. <laughs> <laughs> that added to it. <laughs> That's my, perfect, just like that. My, my step stool just went over. Um, <laughs> yeah, Mike Bloomberg. So anyway, back to your point. Well, clearly they're gearing up for something. Or are they are they trying to use the threat? Maybe they don't have the ability to do that anymore. Hopefully, hopefully they don't. Do you I mean, guys, guys have any theories on that? Do, uh, yeah, I don't think they do. That, that's uh, that's what like devolution is all about, right? So con continuity of government, and I talk about this a lot in my series, continuity of government, like there's there's eight what's called national essential functions, and that's like the whole purpose of it, is while you're going through this catastrophic event, you need to maintain these eight national essential functions. One of those things is basically protecting the homeland. The other ones are like, you know, maintain a... Of interactions with foreign governments and you know maintain the economy all this stuff a lot of the, a lot of the other national central functions are clearly not being maintained and there's good examples of that but the big one being protect the homeland if if trump didn't have any sort of control or, or at least let's say if if the deep state if you know the, the conspiracy theory of the deep state if they actually existed and they were in control they would totally bring something like a nuclear attack or something like that a big yeah. destruction mass destruction the fact that they haven't yet shows they're not in full control same thing with ukraine right ukraine's their honeypot i mean i mean there's so much corruption right. over there it's right why hasn't any yeah. of the united states or the nato forces or anything gone in there to stop russia even though biden's been there on the ground supposedly and told you know the 82nd airborne yeah you guys are going in there but they still haven't gone in there <laughs> right none of, none of it makes sense I, I don't think they have they have nearly any control and i think that's where a lot of the the devolution plan that's what they're protecting primarily is is the big risks to to national security, especially domestically? Mm. Eddie, what do you think? Anything? I, I think so too. I think if <clears throat> if they could blow up a city, they would have already done it. Um, I think they wish they could. Uh, just like um, in, in my, I think that didn't they have ivermectin and HCQ like sixty years ago or something like that? Like HCQ, it seems yep. like they've already had a cure. For all the coronavirus strains like no uh, we don't know HCQ. that as a fact eddie you're now just <laughs> doing fact check stuff and we don't want youtube to get upset and i want to reiterate eddie is partially crazy and so is this show <laughs> it's called the bunker and we're all characters and we're just bullshitting continue yeah i think i think um they wish they could uh, develop some kind of virus that could infect someone mm. and then they infect other people and those people infect other people and it all kills them it just like it just it's it's like a contagion if if they could do that they would have already done that shit they would have mm -hmm. already done i think they can they can uh, they have chemicals that'll kill people that's for yeah. sure. The chemicals that'll kill people and those people will infect other people and that'll kill them too. I think that's, I think that's fantasy. I think they wish they could do that. I think they Here's want it. people to believe they could do that. I think, I think a lot of them bio labs are not, in my opinion, I think they're just like 
money laundering labs. You know what I mean? It's like, oh yeah, we're working on viruses. We need money. We're working on viruses. We need Climate money. change. We're save the world. We need money. <laughs> I think like when you put up a bio lab, that's like a like a mini NASA. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> You're right. Bio lab. You know, send me money. We got people One, fifteen we're million. Working on science. We're working on science. Are you really working on science? Or are you just stealing that shit? <laughs> money, 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 money. Ukraine needs more money. money bio labs money. everywhere. Bio labs everywhere. Bio, bio labs. labs. Bio Forget labs. the bio labs. Oh, we gotta, bio labs. We got to figure out how to, how to like, stop these coronaviruses. Don't you ever Ukraine. Know that means, doesn't that stop everything? I think yeah. they already figured it out. And now they're just, they want to perpetuate the fear. And they just, they just right. to me, I think a lot of them bio labs are probably money laundering facilities. That's what yeah. that's my but I don't know. No, I love it. I think the world's love flat. It. I love it, dude. Did you have a thought, John? Uh, I, 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 I had a few. Like, for, first of all, BioLabs definitely. I mean, pretty much half the government programs out there are money laundering schemes. That's all they are. It is us sending our taxpayer dollars to pay off bribes for these people. But um, and then on top of that, another you know proof that the you know the deep state has no control. I mean, how was how Trump still alive in general? I mean, if they if they could, they would have taken him out a long time ago. But he's yeah. he's comfy as hell. And then the third point, you mentioned climate change. That's probably um, one of my favorite examples about the media completely losing control of the narrative. Mm. There's a poll that like just came out a week ago. 1% of voters, Demo Democrat voters, give a shit about climate change anymore. 1%. <laughs> and then that's like been their primary issue for, for a long ass time. So the, the, they've com they're completely relevant right now, the mainstream media. Every 10 years they come at every 10 years. Right? It's global warming and the seas are going to, let me tell you something, in 10 years, Florida and California are going to be underwater. Okay. Maybe in 20 years. You know what? Okay. We're getting hot and the icebergs are going down. So we need your money now. And we're going to start new college courses on, on the ecosystem. Okay. There's a hole in the ozone layer. Seriously. We got to stop spraying our hair because it's really bad. <laughs> Ever since we started spraying our hair, now we can't have aerosols, okay? We're switching to plat. Okay, no more Jim, plastic. Question for you, Jim. Question Here's for you, Jim. the deal. We're going to, we need, okay, here's what's going on. We have, This is severe climate change. It's so bad, like we're all going to be wiped out. You thought you saw tornadoes before? We need your money. God damn it. Give it to us. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get everyone on their jet and go have a con Where's Lady Gaga, for Christ's sake? Can we get Madonna and Beyonce and Jay-Z to put on a concert and to get their 40 million zombies to sit there and give us some goddamn money to help this climate change laundering? Ah! I think they're at that point where the machines are starting a boing, bang, boing. The glad bang. You know, Charles Schwab is like, I don't believe what this guy is. What's going on with the climate change? Sire, we have a major problem. They're not buying anything anymore. <laughs> um, listen, man, we're going to, I want to say today was an absolute blast. Um, I, I had an absolute blast with all you guys. And Eddie Bravo, I'm going to talk to you a little later today. We're going to be doing something. Hopefully, Eddie can be there on the 24th to talk to you guys about that. Jimmy Shaka, you're the greatest. You're my buddy. we soul friends our whole yeah, lives. Man. And I got to say, John, it was an absolute pleasure to have you on today. Pleasure and uh, to where, do we, where do we follow you? Uh, well, I'm on True Social. It's at Patel Patriot. Same with Telegram. And then uh, my website where you can read all my articles, uh, devolution.link. Sounds good. Hey, can you send me a hey, John? Hey, Hey, yep. Jim, can you send that? Uh, I would love John on my podcast. I would love to go yeah. deep on this stuff. Um, can, can you give me John's info? I would. I would 100%. Honored. I am honored. I would be honored if we could suck blood of, of the innocent. Hey, real there. quick. Hey, uh, Klaus, Klaus. Uh, yes. what, real quick. Real, quick question before you go. What What did you see in Justin Trudeau that, that you thought would make him such a great dictator? How did you know? Well, when I. Well, I got to say, when I uns, when I uns saw Castro, I realized if I can get the sperm of Castro and <laughs> and reinvent and reincarnate him and send him up to Canada, therefore I'd have two Castros before the Great Reset. 
<laughs> and by the sudden great research has happened, I have uns another uns Castro, but this time I have one to the uns south and one to the uns north of the United States of America, <laughs> and this would make Mr. Sardos very happy. <laughs> 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 oh, good stuff. All right. Well, today was just BS. It was just goofiness. Everyone here are characters. We're characters doing characters. We're not saying we're right. We're not saying we're wrong. And for the record, I am not a Republican. I am not a Democrat. I'm not a liberal. I'm not a conservative. I'm just a human being trying to figure things out. So don't categorize me. If you're triggered by anything today, that's on you. All we're asking you to do is just listen to the conversation. Just listen. Use your own thoughts and stop listening to the devil news. Hey, man, thanks for hanging out, you guys. Thanks, yep. man. Awesome. Thank How's it going? Later. Well, I got to say... Today was a lot of fun being on the bunker. Um, God, it was it, today was a lot of fun. It was very interesting. I wasn't ready for it, to be honest with you, especially to come out of the woods and to be coming out of Alaska. And again, whatever thoughts came today, whatever conversation came today, it's don't anytime you find yourself getting super angry or super emotional over something you really can't control or or what you think you want to be part of that's such in the big world the big world tries to suck us out 24 7. remember take some time have a moment in nature with yourself with god whatever whatever your spirit is whatever whatever nourishes the inside to flourish to open the light inside you do that take care of yourself do that if you deserve anything, that's something you definitely deserve because we are on borrowed time. You are on borrowed time. I'm on borrowed time. We like to pretend it's our time. We like to pretend we're in control of everything. We're not. We're absolutely not. And a lot of you know that. So um, I just wish you all happiness, love. I hope you were entertained today. Hope you had a couple laughs. And um, don't forget, chimbrew.com. Hopefully, we can get the new comedy special, Somebody Had to Say It, on YouTube, up to a million views, uh, maybe by the end of this podcast. Now, I'm going to continue with John on my Patreon page. I, I, it was an incredible conversation. He's got the, – they're just theories. There's no there's – no, you know, he has certain facts to put th certain things out there. But if you if you liked some of the stuff you saw today on the Bruniverse, uh, especially with John uh, and Eddie Bravo, but especially with John today, hop over to the Patreon page. If you don't know about the Patreon page, basically you pay five bucks a month. It's just a, for all the uh, podcasts. Fifteen bucks a month. Oh my God, fifteen bucks a month. Yes. However, you get the Bruniverse before it comes out. You get special podcast which you're going to listen to with john right now and um we're gonna have another comedy special that's just for the patreon members and then once a month i go live live concert and we stream it live and then depending on what tier you're on if you're in a, a higher tier then we zoom together and we create ideas together and we kind of have hangouts it's really i really enjoy it it's a cool little community so Jim Brewer, Patreon page to listen to the rest of this podcast. Thank you for hanging out in the Brewers. We'll see you next week. Yeah.